Hi, Jack Heath here for HRCU Today, and once again, delighted to be out and about in the community with the HRCU team, and also delighted to be with Leah Taylor. She's the Director of Youth Financial Education at HRCU, and of course, Brian Hughes, President and CEO of HRCU. Welcome, Jack. Welcome. Always good to be with you. Out again. Now we're in a school, but there's a lot of great education going on in this school, and you're, you're passionate about the youth financial education yeah. that Leah leads. Why? Uh, it's been an initiative of ours for a number of years now. I think we're going into our 10th year. Uh, we really feel as though getting involved with the youth, getting the youth to know how to understand uh, financial education, start them young, get them to, to open up an account, a small savings account, and we're very proud of it. And having Leah in charge of our program, along with two other full-time uh, employees of uh, HRCU who are dedicated to just uh, youth financial education in the, the greater uh, Rochester area. It's pretty exciting for us. Well, Leah Taylor, we were talking earlier, getting to the younger elementary students and this kind of education, why are you so passionate about getting out into the younger elementary grades to teach uh, youth financial education? Uh, when I started the high school branch program in 2006, I saw a lot of high school kids coming in that didn't know the basics of a checking or a savings or you know what a credit score meant or even how to count money in their hands. The physical sense of money is, is gone for little kids because we pay with credit cards and debit cards and our phones now, so they didn't really understand the concept of money. So I was like, what can we do to really go into the classroom and talk about things that are age-appropriate money topics? Mm -hmm. So we brought in Junior Achievement. Junior mm -hmm. Achievement is a national program they have a curriculum for us for every grade level. So for example, second grade, this is a second grade classroom that I was in this spring. Um, I had about 20 kids in this um, class that I worked with and I taught them about community and money and how it works together. They learned about government, they learned about taxes, and it was brought down to a level where they understood it. I had one little kid come up to me and says, I don't want to grow up. I don't want to pay my taxes. But they made it so easy for them to understand. Smart kids. Yeah. <laughs> did, did, they, did they embrace it? Did they like the subject matter? Yes, and that's what I really liked about and the teachers too is they have hands-on learning activities where they can learn about how it works in their home how it works in businesses um, one group learned how to make donuts and how you make donuts you have to make them look good or in order to sell them to earn money for your business so they learned a lot of different concepts about financial education now for you being an educator an educated minding person wanting to teach how neat is it for you to be on the business team at HRCU but still being able to be a youth educator I, it's a passion of mine. I love working with the youth, and I, I didn't really realize that until I started at the high school branch, how much there's such a need for this in our community, and just being able to see the little kids and have it, the light bulb click in the head going, oh, or you know, talking about ways to save money at home or ways they can earn money at home. Brian Hughes, president and CEO of HRCU, same question for you, but reverse that I asked Leah. How important is it for you to be involved in the education side while running a credit union and, yeah. and a business with your team, but to also be able to educate young people and, and high school kids in the community. These kids who are coming up through these, this program, uh, right, right from second grade, you know, they, they're gonna have a head start on all this. And just, just the, the value of money of how it is like with our reality fears, what it really means to have a budget. You just can't go off and um, you know, buy something frivolous and then figure out how you're going to pay for it or how you're going to continue to sustain a lifestyle. You know, you, you have to budget for it. And that's a, that's a really big thing for, for young people. And The reason why we do this, and that I think that's kind of what I've been feeling, is why are we actually doing the financial education is we're learning that there's so much debt out there in the households, credit card debt, student loan debt is alone at $1.5 trillion in the United States. And a lot of these students, when they're graduating college, they don't know how to get their first car loan or get their mortgage, or but then they can't because mm -hmm. they're in debt. So where our hope is, with the Junior Achievement Program is they get it in kindergarten, they get it in first grade, they get it in second grade. So they're building on step stones as they grow up to learn how to handle money in a responsible manner. And you know, I will say, Jack, as a financial institution, yeah, I really feel that we have an obligation to do this. And it really kind of goes with the mission of being a credit union. You know, we're a not-for-profit, we're, we're out there in the community. But we're really, I think, we're taking it to the next level. I, you know, to have three full-time staff members uh, working throughout the community and it's just you know it's just what we really want to do well certainly a growing mission hrcu with all the financial services and education 
to make younger folks even better consumers and more educated. From the McClellan Elementary School right here in Rochester, I'm Jack Heath. For HRCU Today, see you again real soon. Mm -hmm.